This here is a kayak cart that I got from Pelican. It's their deluxe cart. It fits really well on their bigger boats that have tunnel hulls. Now I've made a lot of carts in my day, and this one surpasses them all because of its elegance of design. It's easy to put together. It has only one strap, which makes tying it to the kayak nice and easy. Richie was using it today on his Catch 100, and we were gonna use it to go out and find some places that we can't normally get to. I was bringing my kayak as well. I had the smaller Argo kayak, which is perfect for this small, less expensive kayak cart that Pelican has. It works really good on boats that don't have a tunnel hull. If you center it real good, it works just fine. It has more straps, but it is quite a bit less expensive. And it'll stow real nice, which I'll show you in just a little while. Here you can see I've got all my gear in this boat. Everything I would need for a full day on the water. Now all we had to do is walk them down there. With the wheels in the center of the kayaks, it really took very little effort to pull them down the path. Today we were gonna go about mm, two tenths of a mile. Not a real short distance, but not too long either. A perfect test to see how these kayak carts were going to handle. Whew. Windy today. Nice to be able to get to places that are going to be sheltered. Like with any kayaks, all you really need to get on the water is a very small opening. Today this was going to be our window for adventure just wide enough for us to squeeze through. Now we just had to take the trolleys and figure out where to put them. Richie took his and stuck it in the tank well behind the seat of his bigger kayak, whereas I had a hatch in the back of my smaller kayak. Perfect place to stow this little compact trolley. First I had to take the wheels off, which was a piece of cake with these little snap rings. And then, there you have it. You would never know I had a trolley with me. Pretty cool. Whew, deep, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Still got your shoe? Yeah. All right, good. Of course, an advantage to having a smaller kayak means that moving it around is a lot easier. I was able to slip this Argo in the water without any problems at all. Now that we were out there, our first concern, because it was blowing like 25 to 30 miles an hour today, was to see if we were able to fish and enjoy ourselves. But look at that water. We were very well protected by these mangroves. The other side of the lake might have been a little bit windier. But as they say, just getting out on the water is a wonderful thing, and fish would be just extra. And we got extras today, for sure. It's <laughs> a good one. Ah, so what, it's windy. Who cares? We're out fishing. Yeah, okay, beautiful.
sticky snooky. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> There's Richie over there. He's got a fish. Let's see what Richie's got. Dude, you're getting pulled along nice. Easy. Don't horse him. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to grab his lip. He won't let me. Don't worry about nothing else. Just get a handle on him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> That's a fucking beast. Not too bad for a little pond. Not too bad. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Having the ability to check maps on your phone when you're out and about really makes exploring easy. Neither one of us had ever been to this spot before, but despite the winds, it didn't seem to be a problem at all. Sometimes the stars align though, you never know. There were no wind knots and, like I said before, the fishing was just awesome. Today the fish to be caught were snook, and we got lots of them. And I thought to myself, man, this is such a cool spot. I'm going to be using the trolley again in the near future. And I wondered how many other spots that there might be out there that I can get to with a kayak cart. Definitely a piece of gear that I'm happy to have. That and a uh, cup holder and a cooler bag and fishing rods and a good friend, of course, to come out fishing with me. Today was everything that kayaking was supposed to be. Simple and fun. And despite the fact that probably hardly anybody in Tampa Bay was out on the water because of the crazy winds, we had no troubles at all, especially going back to the kayak launch. With the wind at our back, all we really had to do is steer. I'm no fan of the wind, that's for sure. And having the ability today to get out of that wind and onto some fish, mm, that's what it's all about. Even after hours and hours, we kind of left them biting because you can only have so much fun, I guess, <laughs> before it's time to call it quits. Well today everything seemed to work just wonderfully and I think part of the reason for that is that we chose everything to fit together perfect. The size of the kayaks versus the size of the paddler. The place we chose to fish based on the conditions and even the kayak carts. The smaller cart that I use today may not work as good on the bigger kayaks but when used properly on a smaller kayak it worked wonderfully which was a real relief for me because my picture actually happens to be on the box that this product comes in. Yeah, whether it's a kayak cart or it's the kayak itself, there's always going to be somebody out there that will argue that something in particular doesn't work or can't work. Hmm. Well, I'm telling you, today was absolutely perfect. And my buddy and I both had an awesome day on the water, fishing from kayaks that we got to the water with our kayak carts.
I'm curious what your opinion is about Pelican, their kayaks and their carts, and about kayaking in general, and its ability to get you to places where you can catch some pretty cool fish. I'll look for your comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you later.